Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all help the channel grow, and they help get it out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we worked on getting more iron plates. We got our... Um, reinforced plates down here, so we're burning through all these screws, and we are making... I can't remember how many it was. 15. So it's 15 times 12. So we're making 180 of these a minute. So today the plan is we're going to be ramping up and finally working on our bolted frames. So I want to try and use these because that does 5 a minute. Whereas this one does 2 a minute. And it uses 3 rods. This uses, oh, sorry, three plates, whereas this uses seven and a half. So it's three down to two, seven and a half down to five. I think this one's the better, but we are going to need to probably try and make some more screws because we're using all of them here. But that means we've got, so 180 divided by 7.5. We're going to use 24 assemblers to make them. So... We are going to need to go up a floor, which I think is actually going to bring us in line here. So let's get some flooring down. Oh, whoop. Let's make sure we're out of the way. There we go. I think this might be the last one we can do uh, before we kind of hit where we are working so 24 that means we're going to want basically double what we've got sort of on the floor below yeah because that's running a set of 12 so let's pop all this down and we'll lay down the blueprint designer again oh, apparently I clicked it just close enough to have me in the way Okay, so let's load our bum, 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 bolted manner, bolted screw. There we go. So now we want to change this production to the bolted frames because it will actually just be the same setup. There we go. And now we want to save as oh no, change the icon to the frames. Bolted frames, there we go. Clear. Whoop. Take and clear. Cool. Okay. So, we're definitely going to be making enough. Um, like, our um, tier 5 belt will bring enough reinforced plates in. So, we need 140 screws. So, we've got. Hang on. Yeah, so we've got, oh, what was it? It was 180 divided by 7.5. Oh, turn my number lock off, that'll help. Yeah, 24. So we've got 24 times 140. So it's then 24 times 140. That's 3,360 screws we need to be making. Which is even more than we had on that first block that we had downstairs. So, let's try and get the screw sorted first, because I think that is going to be a bigger problem. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop down. I'm just going to have to move that awesome sink, because that is going to get right in the way there. So, let's just tuck it over here in the corner. Yeah, because we haven't really got much else going on on this floor, so I don't mind just, you know lazily doing that and we'll tidy that because eventually we're going to be bringing this up anyway so we're going to need to go to our screw so you guys blimey okay so let's go to our blueprints we're going to want the not the bolted screw manifold we want the iron plate iron wire 
Did I not make a separate version of it? I just... I can't have done. Okay, alright. Let's try and sort that out then. Right, okay. So, we want to load. Give me the iron plates. Right, and now we are just going to change you to making car screws, because we've got lots of this over here. I was like, I know we could do the steel screws, but we've got tons of iron downstairs, so we're just going to make use of that. Right, uh, and now we want to... These are iron screws, not steel ones. Set the icon as screws. Save. Okay. Clear. Take. Cool. Right. Okay. So now we are going to want to get yeah this one down. Turn blueprint mode off. Okay. So let's go like that. Now I'm missing iron plates. All right, fine. So you guys are making 50 a minute. So we need 3360. So 3360 divided by 50 is 67.2. Oh my gosh. Okay. And we're putting down blocks of eight there. So 68 divided by eight is eight and a half of those blocks. Okay, that's fine. So we can, so we need seven of those blocks because we've already, hang on, was it eight and a half? Okay, yeah, so we need to put eight of those blocks down because we've already got one down. Okay, fine. So let's grab the plates and the cable we need for that. And then we're going to have to think about how we're going to run all the... This is going to use more than one of those iron lines we've got downstairs. But that's fine, because like I said, we've got so many left over. Let's just grab some of them, because we're going to need it for the um, belts. Right, cable. Did I, I've gone flying past the cable. Yeah, there it is. Grab a chunk of that. Okay. So... We are outputting, what is it, 780 we can do on a tier 5 belt? Let's just have a look. Yeah, 780. And that's running 12.5. So 780 divided by 12.5 is 60 of these. Okay, oh, 61, okay. 61 divided by 8. That doesn't seem right. Seven of those blocks. Okay, so apparently we only need just over one of those lines. Fine. Although, to be fair, that does make sense because we're not using a huge amount more than we were before. So we'll do that. And then we've got six to do, so that's going to be another... Right, let's turn that blueprint off. Give us a bit of room to work with. Right, that's that. So this is going to be a whole screw dedicated to... F or a whole floor dedicated to screws by the looks on it. Have I got my maths on this right? Because it was like... 3,000 we needed. Divide that by 50. Yeah, that is 60 constructors. And then we had... 60 roughly divided by 8. That's seven and a half blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, either way, let's just let's put it down because if it's not hundred percent, we can under throttle some stuff. Right. Put you down to make that. Come on. Lined up like that. We'll put you there. And you there. Okay. So that should do it. And I'm now going... Did I double end my blocks? No, they are right. Okay. 
So let's pump these into place. By just, you know, joining the blueprints together. Oh. So we can do this. And of course today, update 8 came out. Or not today. At the day I'm recording this, it's the first opportunity I'd have to record with update 8. And I've opted not to do it, but staying with update 7. Because where the devs are all going on holiday, none of the fixes will happen. And I just don't want anything to ban jacks this save file. And I know they're like back up your saves and stuff, but you know, I don't feel we're in that much of a rush. We... Why is that one not lined up? And here we go, we could do with something with update 8, because this is not lined up. Right, that is, so we're missing the ones on the end. That's fine. Instead of redoing the whole thing, we'll just do that. And then we'll remove the one at the other end, to basically shift it. Okay, that's that done. Then we want to, like I say, reconnect these. Come on. Right, there we go. So I'm very excited about update 8. I've not looked at the release stream for it yet. Uh, I might get around to that this afternoon. But, yeah, I've not watched that yet. But I'm hoping it's going to be really good with all the additions and improvements they've made to it. Okay, so. We are going to need to have a... I'm going to put a merger here. And then splitters on the other ones. And the reason for that is because we need to inject slightly more. The plan will be we bring it up, we bring one bolt of iron up and we run that as normal, splitting it like this. But then we'll bring the second one to deal with the extra parts and we'll just merge that into that box there. So we'll just do it that way. Though what I am tempted to do, actually, is if we replace this one with a smart splitter. There we go, like that. We can just do it like that, and then straight on, so left will be any, straight on will be overflow. So that that can primarily use its own iron source coming up. Which works for me. Okay, so we want a lift hole. You're going in there. Did that hook in? Didn't sound it. Okay. And then over here I want another one. We will need to bring... I mean, I would say we need to bring power up. This is all right here. We could bring power down. Which is unusual. Because this was all here just to help me fly. There we go. There's power down. Right, now we just need to get the iron up here. And we can get this next chunk of screws going. Okay. Okay. Limey. Right, so we need to get another output. No, line up. Oh, there's the auto save. Come on. Right. There's your output. Though, actually, I have just thought instead of trying to bring that round to the same place. This time round we want to could bring it down here, couldn't we? So if we put you there we can 
hook you down here. Basically, where am I going to bring that up? Okay, so if I bring it up here. That's doing that. Where can I, if I snake that along and this time bring it the other way up? Let's just do it backwards, shall we? Okay, so you're going there, which means you're going to go looking at the patterns, you're going to go in the middle there. You're going up like that, and then you're needing to go up there. So that's fine. And grab you, go up to the ceiling. I'm out of any mini sheets. Well, that was lucky. I had exactly the right amount to get that to the correct height. Okay, let's go and grab those missing aluminium sheets so we can get this done. Okay. And then... Whoa, bump. Right. Grab a chunk of you. Thank you very much. So, yeah, I had some nice comments on the last couple of episodes that have started coming through around using the trains uh, to bring the plastic over, which I still don't think we are... Oh, we are bringing... We've got some in there, but we're still burning through it pretty quickly. So, it is on its way. Right, okay. But yeah, I had some nice comments about how it was all looking, which is nice. Right, why are you not hooking in like that? Right, one, two. Why are you the wrong way? Are these all the wrong way? Right. You need to be feeding it up. Yeah, it's because I started at the bottom, isn't it? And I didn't reverse it. There we go. Right. Yeah, and now you feed into that. Beautiful. Okay. So now you are running along here. And you are offset slightly. I'd rather have you nudged in. So I am going to do it that way. Just to keep this line all nice and tight. Okay. Then we're going to want to go somewhere around here. I'm just going to drop it there while we figure out bringing this up. So you need to be... Touching the edge of that, which means you need to go there. You're feeding out like that. In. Oh, there we go. You're coming down like so. And you're now feeding there. Cool. Ta da! There's the first chunk of the screws going. Nice. Right, and then we need to go and grab. Oh wow, we've only got one more left. Okay. That should be fine. And we're not using all of this one. So, if we line it up, put you, right, where's your output? Your output's here. So if we put you here, and then do that. Right, that's going to feed in there. That doesn't look right. That's more like it. Put five there. Okay, right. So, what I want to do is I'm going to go back upstairs and I'm going to feed it down. So that we know where we want to try and bring it up. But 
these guys would have started working on their screws. There we go. Right, and then, yeah, this side, we want to bring it down from over here so we know where we are working with. Okay, so you're immediately on top of that. Well, first things first, you're going to have to come around like so. And I think we could probably just, if we expand that logistics floor out a little bit, probably just replicate it. So let's make it nice and easy and we'll put it in the middle of that hole. And then this time you're going up like that. So, there we go. Then you should be doing that. You do that. And then, yeah, we'll follow the same kind of logic. So you're going out to there. And then we just run it all the way along to go and hook up that last line. Whoop. So that'll do that. And then... And then we need to try and do that. That's to... go. It doesn't look quite as smooth going backwards, but you know, it's there. And then we're going to go to there. Oh, hang on, you had that then. There we go. I'm going to come in straight down this way. You're going to feed... Ah, oh, just shy. But straight in there. Cool. So that's that line done. So that is then all those screws... All those constructors being fed upstairs. We'll just need to put the loops in over the top. Well, actually, I think what we can do is we can just... So how many are you guys making? You're making 50 a minute. And we've got... So... 50 times 12, 600. Okay, so each of these do basically need their own lines. Well, that's fine. We will just have to run mergers. Uh, and we'll just have to, yeah, double it up. Can't put it all on the same line, which is a shame. Just gonna have to run all these along. It does mean we have six full lines, which is nice, and these are all gonna be six hundred screws because we are oversupplying that iron to them. Which is good. So in theory it'll give us a few spare screws. Not that I think we need any, but you know gives us something. load test this as well by sticking a load of awesome sinks at the end while we're working on the next stage just so it can go with it okay so it'll basically be like a replica of the one below Which, like I say I think that'll be fine but I don't remember doing quite quite this many for the one below so I don't know if I've just got the maths all wrong again because I know I got it wrong the first time we tried to do all the screws um, and basically I'd put down way too many constructors and it was taking up the whole floor and it kind of looked like this and it was like oh actually I only needed half that amount 
So I'm now sitting here going, have I done it again? But I don't know. I'll let you guys tell me in the comments and I'll see what goes on with all this. But either way, screws are always useful because they're used in everything. And I know we've got the steel production set up for that so we can make screws on site. And then we've got, like I say, we've got one more iron facility or iron line that we're not using yet at the moment. So I'm not quite sure what to use that for. Any ideas? Do let me know in the comments. What do you think we can use this last iron line for? Because I don't think we're going to be needing it for uh, all of this. I think we're going to be making our uh, reinforced... Oh, not reinforced. Uh, I think we're going to be making our modular frames with just the lines we're currently using. So yeah, let me know what you think I can do with that last block of iron. Like at the moment, it could be used to like make up the shortfalls. Because all this math, and then all the numbers I'm working on, are on the assumption that I'm using overclocked tier 3 miners. Which, at the moment, I'm not. So, yes, there is going to be inefficiencies at the moment until we get there. But, when that is done, like I say, I'm going to have that chunk of iron spare. So, yeah. I'm not sure what to do with it. At the moment, this all looks like it's flowing nicely from what I can see. Oh, don't you love belt work? And normally I'd have tried to time lapse this, but I'm going to level with you. Today, uh, this one is a lunchtime recording, so I'm recording it on my lunch break, which means I don't actually have the recording time to do a time lapse. Uh, so, this is just as it is, but equally, I know a lot of you guys like to see all this kind of building. And I know sometimes time lapses can make people feel a little bit queasy. So, I mean, you get to watch a full run like this without it. Um, but yeah, I was actually tempted to load up a fresh game in update 8 uh, and just have a play and see what it looks like. But I haven't done that as yet. But yeah, I'm very excited when update 8 gets into the stable branch. Um, really looking forward to having a uh, play with it there. Done. Okay. Last row. Curious why this one is not saying... Oh, because you guys weren't set up, were you, to actually make screws? That'll do it. That'll be why that set doesn't have any, because they weren't part of the blueprint, were they? Just where's the floor? No, oh, come on! I didn't mean to click out of that. Give me the floor back. Just run these out. Oh, there's another auto save. Should be the last one because I only do. I think I've got it set to once every 15 minutes at the moment. Right, and then, no, not the space elevator. We want awesome sinks. Right, and you are going to go there. 
And then we've got there. And you're just going to go right next to it. Missing reinforced iron plates. Okay. And we're sinking all the ones we're making downstairs. So I can't go and grab any from there. Feels weird. We've worked our way up to the... <laughs> the, uh, the old motorway. Which used to feel so high in comparison to the buildings we used to be working with. But... I mean, I suppose the last one was only two floors, and this one is significantly higher. But, I mean, even that, none of that's going to hold a candle to the fuel... I'm going to call it the power tower when we get it done. Because that's going to be eight floors of um, power. That's forgetting the, um, the, the floors underneath to make it. I think we can still probably see it from over here somewhere. Yeah, look, you can see it over there through the trees. Blimey. Okay, right. You're going there. You're going to have to do that. And you're there at the end. Okay, so. We can then feed these in. Uh, and you're going into that one. And you're going into that one. And you're going into... Th whoop. No, did that even actually connect? I've no idea. I'm just going to put that back just to make sure. Right. You're going to go here. I'll put you there. And then we can probably power all of those like that. There we go. So we'll leave these running for a bit. Make sure they burn through all those screws. Look at that. It's been quite healthy on our power consumption. We're looking quite nice there, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so that's where I'm going to wrap up this episode. So next episode, we are probably going to get in line with our, you know, old observation deck. Um, which means that might need redoing at some point. And we'll finally be on to the modular frames, uh, which I'll need to figure out how we are going to get them into our logistics network over there. Thinking it's just going to be like feeding along because if that's going to be on the same level, feeding it along the floor and doing some kind of uh, merger onto the line that goes into it. But we'll figure that out next time. But as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions, they all help the channel grow. They help get it out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. It is very much appreciated. Thank you very much to my patrons. Uh, please don't forget that as patrons, you do gain access to the save files for both this and Stranded Deep. So you can explore the worlds at your leisure. Um, and your patronage is very much appreciated. But other than that, thank you all very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you all next time.